Farming Simulator 2019 is finally here. What's up, gang? Attaboy here. Today we're checking out Farming Simulator 2019. They have a better graphics engine, new farming vehicles with the addition of the John Deere Giant, the Farming Giant. Uh, let's see, we have livestock we have to take care of now. Um, I think you had to do that before in past versions, but I'm not too sure. Uh, they poop babies out now, I think. Uh, also, they offer a rideable horse. So you can tear for your horses, get on the back of them, and ride around the vast area that is offered by Farming Simulator 2019. Uh, so, room for 16 of your closest friends or your friends, whatever, to build an amazing farm, share all your duties. So, let's start out with the tutorials. Let's check it out. First is arable farming. Now, I went ahead and did a little bit of this already. I just wanted to kind of check it out and I ended up completing the first tutorial, but whatever. Let's do it again. So learn the basics of the game and how to effectively work your land. In today's lesson, you'll learn about arable farming. To produce crops, there are three mandatory steps. One is cultivating, two is sowing, three is harvesting. Let's start with cultivating, hit okay. Cultivating aerates the ground before starting sowing your crops. You'll need a tractor cultivator for this task. Okay. First look around the area, then move up to the tractor. SWDA controls movement, and your mouse movement controls player view direction. Okay. So let's take a look around. Got a nice red barn. Is an air conditioner up there? Somebody living up there? Who knows? Not sure if that's like a chicken coop or what that is. Looks like we got the main farmhouse down over here. A silo off in the distance over there. Very cool, very cool. Okay, let's get back to our tractor. So this red thing must be our cultivator in the back. Here's your tractor. Tractors are required to pull tippers and tools. Hop in. E for entering the vehicle. So we have a Cultimer L300 by Kuhn. And these must rip into the ground. The plates or whatever these are back here must uh, tear up the soil more and the, this drum here must uh, bust up the clods. So let's get in our tractor. Here's the gas pedal next to it, the brake, and you've seen a steering wheel before, haven't you? It's easy. W and S activate, or accelerate and decelerate the vehicle, and D and A steer the vehicle. Okay. You need to attach the weight and the cultivator. First slowly drive the, to the small black weight in front of you and attach it to your tractor. Then move backwards towards the cultivator and attach it to the back of your tractor. The extra weight will counterbalance the heavy weight at the back. Okay, and Q to attach tool. Alright, so the weight's already there. Looks like we're kind of partially rolling, bumped up right up against it. So we're just going to hit Q. Very good. That's attached. Now we're going to move back and attach the cultivator. Voila. Since you have two tools attached, you can switch between them to operate them individually. The schematic view of the tractor in the top left displays the tool that's currently active. Select a cultivator at the back and lower it into the soil, then drive up and down this field as straight as you can. Okay, no problem. We can do that. Hit OK. All right. Let's hit F1 to get rid of our tool thing there. I don't think we really need that. I got it pretty memorized. So let's move forward. Stop right there. We'll drop it down. Hit V. All right. Let's just start ripping. Cultivating. Love the animation of the dirt flying around. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. Coming to the end of the field here. All right, let's pick our cultivator up and we'll turn this puppy around. I think I want to check out the cockpit view. How do we hit that? Let's see. Yes. Okay. This is nice. A lot of controls in there. This must be the... Uh, well, I thought I was going to say the climate controls, but it looks like something different. Here's the climate controls. Nice radio. Giants FM. Alright, let's continue on. Alright, let's 
pull up and we'll drop the cultivator down. There we go. Uh, it looks like we're about a quarter way through on a progress bar in the upper hand right hand corner there. Let's make sure look back on make sure I'm doing a good job. Yep. Alright, good stuff. Halfway through our progress bar now. Let me get back on the outside view here. Oh, it looks like I missed one spot back there. Alright, come a little closer. Drop it down. Looks like my tires are starting to get a little dirty. Almost done. That's what they want you to do about half the field, I guess. Uh, maybe a little less than that. Give you the basic idea of what's happening, what's what you're to do, what you're supposed to do. Alright, drop that down. Let's get back into cab view. It's nice. Oh, we're done. Nicely done. You got a hand of the cultivation, ready to plant some seeds? Absolutely, let's go. Okay, tutorial. Cultivating has loosened the soil, making it well prepared for sowing. You'll need a tractor and a sowing machine for this task. Make sure you fill the sowing machine with seeds. Absolutely. Well, I would hope you would have some seed because you can't plant anything without it. Get in a tractor and attach the tools as you did before. No problem. E and Q. So let's check out our sowing machine real quick first. They must move up and down and plant at a certain level, I guess. And that must cover it back up, I guess. That's pretty cool. Those are the markers. Each one of those tubes must be a seed that drops down in there. That's amazing. Amazing. And this spreads the dirt and allows the seeds to go down. And there's the big vat that holds all the seeds. Container. Or seed bag. It looks so, so real. It's, it's, it's nice. They did an amazing job on the modeling. Even on the tractors. I mean, they, they all look amazing. Okay, let's get in here. Sir. Don't have to pick up any weight. There's already some weights on the front of it. Looks like they're permanently attached. Can't drop it like the other ones. And so it just leaves us to back up to the sawing machine. And connect it. Okay. First, fill the sowing machine with the seed pallet next to it, and then turn it on so it can plant seeds. Finally, lower it into the soil. Once all this is done, drive up and down the field again to sow some canola seeds. Okay, so let's hit R to refill. Picking up throttle, I guess it must suck it out of the bag. I have no idea. Okay, everything's folded up and ready to go. Let's pull forward to the field. Okay, so B to turn it on, and V to lower it. Let's see if we're planning. We've got lines. Oh, it went down one, so we are doing some seed planting as well. Very good. Get the end of the field. Pick it up. Let's turn around. Let's kind of thing turn sharp. Yes, it can. Very good. Okay, line back up. Drop the sawing machine. I think I'm saying that right. I, I don't know. I love that you can look behind you inside the cockpit. This is great. All right, coming to the end. Looks like we might have to make a couple more passes on the progress bar there to complete this part of the tutorial. Okay, let's see. Drop it down. Excellent. Let's 
It's a nice machine. Too many levers for me, though. I love that you can hear the machine behind the tractor just skidding across the ground. Adds to the realism. Just get this thing turning nice and sharp again. Almost feel like the real deal farmer. Okay, drop sour down. I'm a little bit off track there. Oh well. Okay, there we go. Oh, good job. These seeds are are planted, and now all it takes time for them to grow into a field of canola. Ready to harvest? Why, yes, I am. I guess the next uh, job is harvesting. Guess get to play with the combine now. All right. What do we got? After some time has passed, a field a field is ready to be harvested. In career, look at the map menu to see if the fields are ready to be harvested. You need a combine harvester and a header for this task. The combine harvester harvests the grain and separates it from the stems. Then the grain can be sold. Okay, so enter the combine harvester and attach the header at the front. No problem, we can do that. Some rusting going on over there, okay. Big old John Deere, very cool. They put a lot of detail in these machines. They look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Looks like they even have the grease point uh, sticker on the machine, which is incredible. The chain points. That's awesome. They've modeled everything. Incredible job. That's awesome. Okay, so let's get in this thing. I don't think the ladder is supposed to be folded up, though, like that. I think it's supposed to be out so we can get on the side. Yeah, that's a little weird. Try forward. We'll grab the header. Hit Q. Attached. There we go. First, a combine must be unfolded, and then you can turn it on. This way, the clutter... Or the cutter is lowered automatically. You can also raise and lower it manually, but remember to keep it low for harvesting. Okay, no problem. Okay, so G is to switch tool, X is to unfold, V is to lower and raise, B is to turn on and off. Okay, V to unfold. Just wait till it unfolds, and then we'll hit B, and it automatically lowers down like they said, and let's start cutting. Very good. Well, that fills up very quick. Looks like a couple swipes and it'll be full. There's the tractor that we have to dump it into, the tipper. Looks like I'm just a little bit over halfway already on the progress bar. That's nice. It seems loud. Let me get in the cockpit here. There we go. There we go. Much better. It's nice in here. Oh, look, you get an air ride seat too. Luxury. Lower the cutting. And there we go. I love the animations, scooping up all the canola in there. Stripping in the back, processing it. No, oh, I am way off line. Okay. The combine grain tank is nearly full. Open the pipe, drive alongside the tipper edge of the field, and empty the grain tank into it. No problem. But I'm not full yet, and I want to take care of this line real quick. There we go. There we go. Oh, very good. So once we fill up, it automatically picks up the cutter head. Drive over to the tractor. Oh, this thing hauls. Alright. See if I can do this with inside the cockpit without hitting anything. The cab, I should say, not the cockpit. There we go. 
hit O to extend the pipe. And we are emptying into the cart, but it looks like I'm half in, half out. Hopefully I'm not wasting material. Oops. There we go. Yeah, it's much better. It's a nice emptying animation and filling animation. Great. Get out of the combine and get in the tractor in front of the tipper. So we can, I guess we're going to run this grain to somewhere, either the selling station or a silo. Oh, okay, put the pipe back in, and let's get out. We'll get in this machine. The flashing icon on your map shows you where to unload the tipper. Drive over there and empty the grain into your silos. Okay, so we're going over to our silos. Good. Get inside the cab so it's not so loud. They got some great animations. The sounds are pretty spot on, if not spot on. Can you hear the gear whine of the transmission? Well, if you ever wanted to be a farmer, you can be now virtually, so that's pretty cool. Drive right up here in the, the ramp. Start overloading canola. Um, uh, overloading, I guess, that dumps it out. There we go. I love that. That's amazing. Good. Excellent. The green will keep well in your silos. There is a limited capacity you can store in them, but you will be able to expand them later on in the game. Once you're ready to sell your harvest, you can take the grain out of your silos and deliver them to one of the various selling stations in the world to make some money. Very cool. Okay. So I guess we pull up on the other side because I did see a filler on the other side of this silo. And I guess you can fill it up from there and then take it to wherever. So next. Good work. And with this, you are now prepared to turn your land into a thriving farm. So I guess that's the end of the tutorial. All right, well, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. It's much appreciated. All right, guys, till the next one.